Hey guys, welcome back. Modi 101 here, and I'm here with the wonderful Heather Renee B. Hi. And we are back at our little cottage. Yep. Oh, it's so it's so quaint. It's so cozy. <laughs> it's adorable. It is. Anyways, uh, in between episodes, I did some mining. Okay. So you can see I got some ores up here that still need to be processed. And then, you know, some goodies uh, we got in here. So that's good. And then we kind of got yeah. everything else just kind of strewn about. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so you said that you made some ways down? Yes. All right, let's go check let's that out. Down the hole. Get in the <laughs> down hole. the hole. I'm, I'm, I'm catching up to you. I'm catching up. Oh, okay. All right. So the first All one right. should line up with that bridge over there. Ooh. So maybe we might do some bridge building soon and go uh, see if we can be friendly with the neighbors. Maybe. And then keep, the next one. Let's keep some of that Hatfield blood to yourself. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Just saying. Just saying. You, you, there's a history. <laughs> there's a history. <laughs> Then the other one is very far down. Yep. But it's actually on this level. Okay. All right. Nice. Mm -hmm. This just brings us out to to uh, yep. normal land level. Nice. Okay. That is a, a lot better. Also, here's a fun thing uh -huh. because we're idiots. What? Apparently, if you just put the cursor where you want to go and hit T, you can teleport. Oh, seriously? Yep. Uh, well, that's nice to know. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you to the 900 people <laughs> who are uh, very, and I'm, I'm assuming, and, and you know, you, certain, you know, inflections in the voice can't be translated to text, but they every were time all I... lovely, I'm sure. All of them were, were uh, this, is, this is how I read it. <sighs> Just put the cursor over where you want to go in your team. <laughs> I don't think it that. was like that. I don't think it no. was. I think it was more like, hey, if you put the cursor over and push T, you'll go where you want to go. Uh, close. I will agree that it could be like, hey, guys, um, you know, if you just put the <laughs> cursor over where you want to go and hit T, you can teleport there. I hope that helps. And they tussled my hair. <laughs> I can see that. They said, they said, okay, now get out there and. Be the best you, little camper, and then and then rode off on a horse. I don't a know. A horse. I don't know. Yeah, I, I could I could hear the galloping. Um <laughs> Okay. Well, here's a here's a pile oh. of heather right here. Yeah. Hi. How you doing? I kinda died over there before we started. Alright, if you come stand over here, it looks like I'm doing a magic trick. Why? Where are you? Oh. Right right up here. Okay. Alright. You gotta stand over on this side over here. Okay, I'm I'm standing here. All right, here we go. You ready? Okay, yeah. Oh, well, that didn't work. <laughs> what were you trying to do? Make you levitate. Oh. You, you oh, know. I can't put a block on your head. Why? Are you trying to bury me? I like that I'm holding a wooden... Uh... Uh, uh, an enchanted... Do you have an enchanted wooden sword? It's actually copper, and yes, I do. Oh. Push. I wonder... Get, Heather, get, get in the hole. I'm trying to. <laughs> get, 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 get in <laughs> what am I? Ta da! <laughs> I did it. You have very strong. The rigor mortis has really set in. Really My set core. in. My okay. core. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and see how much of this we can just uh, cover across there. Uh, do we need two more blocks? I do don't. Uh, oh no! I turned into a skeleton. <laughs> Wait, what? Not on my screen. On my screen, I'm a skeleton now. <laughs> oh. Apparently, girls can see decomposing quicker <laughs> than boys can. That, that's... I turned into a skeleton. I'm still holding the sword, though. <laughs> well, at least a couple of the attendants stuck around. Oh. Nope, I still see uh, no, it's a normal Heather. I was trying to see if I could... Uh... Give it an egg. Make me go away. <laughs> I wish I could just pick you up and carry you around. Firemen's carry you around. <clears throat> All right, so let's uh, All right, let's we need jump. To do some stuff. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's let's, let's jump Stop into. Stop messing around. <laughs> um, 
All right, so chapter one uh, just kind of looks like uh, very random little things to get. Uh, I think it's, yeah. just, you know, just guides and whatnot. Just, uh, but let's go ahead and jump into the, the next chapter, Silent Gear. And so if we read this, Silent Gear introduces a new material system that allows for the creation of a wide variety of tools and armor. Any item with Silent Gear material in its description is compatible with Silent Gear and can be used as a material. Okay. Uh, press control whilst hovering, uh, I'm guessing, over a Silent Gear compatible item to check its status. So we did that. So the first things first, uh, we got to make blueprint paper. Yeah, we need blueprint sure. paper is needed to craft different blueprints for tools, weapons, and armor. To craft blueprint paper, you'll need blue dye and some paper. Uh, so keep an eye out for any blue flowers as they may be convertible into blue dye. I actually, planning ahead, I know, I'm surprised too, uh, got, a, got some lapis. Oh, okay. Mind up some lapis. So we got the blue dye. Hang on. We just need the let paper. Me, uh, let me get a, uh, let me see what's out here. I know we have bamboo, but that's not going to help. But we might have sugar cane. Yes. All right. Let's see. We're going to need a decent amount. Oh, my God. If you hit uh, E while going down the ladder, it, it shows you in ladder position. Does it really? Yeah, it's pretty neat. All right. So I've got 12 sugar cane. <coughs> okay. So... Let's, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what's. Oh, that put is. me way up in a tree. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. That, that's that's different. Uh, let's see. So we need four paper and one blue dye to make four paper. blue paper. paper. Twelve paper. Okay. Oh, sugarcane seeds. That's cool. Okay, let's go plant this. All right. So we'll grab the lapis and we'll uh, make some blue dye. I, I actually like Silent Gear. I like I like when when mods make. Oh, can I, oh I see the skeleton now. You see it? Yeah, you're all bony. Um, I do like when uh when there's like new mods that kind of either do a new way or in, in you know this is opinion wise a better way of all other mods. So like. Silent Gear is kind of a nice little change up to uh, Tinkers. Yeah. All right. All right. So just put the four paper across the top. Oh, 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 we can't. Okay. One person's oh. going to have to do oh, this. There okay. we go. How many of these am I making? Just, uh, I guess, make the batch of them because, you know, we're going to need them for. All right. Well, it gave us four. Okay. And so no reward on that one. So now we have. Uh... Oh, I see. Okay. I see. It uses the paper as the material, it looks like. So, okay, like, to right make right. a shovel, you do two sticks and then one of the blueprint papers at the top. Yeah, but I don't know if it goes away. What do you mean? Like, I don't know if it if you if you lose it. Yeah, it, it took it. Oh, does it? Okay. Yeah. All right, so let's see what basically it says about this stuff, so... And a lot of you guys probably know this mod. Yeah, I'm just eating raw corn on the cob. Um, all right, so blue uh, tool blueprints. Most tools are crafted the same way. They require a main part, head, blade, etc., and a tool rod. Let's craft a pickaxe as an example. First, uh, craft a pickaxe head using a pickaxe blueprint. Uh, while the recipe for the blueprint is shaped, the pickaxe head recipe is shapeless. Pickaxes require th uh, three main materials. Okay. And then craft a rod with a pickaxe head to make a compatible pickaxe. This can be uh, a mm -hmm. compound rod made with a rod blueprint, or it could be a simple rod like a stick or a bone. You can only use one rod, not two. So if, if, if any of you guys out there named Rod or Rodney and your friend is also named Rod or Rodney, we can only use one of you at a time. Okay, so I may... Here's the pickaxe one. Okay. So we take this, and here's let's say let's grab... I'm going to grab some iron. So I put the blueprint in there. I can't there. see what you're doing, so you're going to have well, to Well, I'm explaining it. it. I'm yeah. explaining yeah. it. 
So you put, I'm putting the, the, the pickaxe blueprint in there. And then I'm putting three uh, iron, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, we keep the blueprint. Oh, so no, 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 no. I thought you meant the, the blueprint paper. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So put that in there. Okay. And it pretty much takes the same materials that, uh, like you would normally craft it. So, Wait, and then you, what am I doing wrong? So put the paper in and then three pieces of iron. Put the oh, oh, the oh, 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 oh. It doesn't have to be yeah. in the top. Yeah, okay. So you got a pickaxe head. Okay. And then you just combine it with a stick and you've got basically an iron pickaxe. Okay. All right, you got that? Yes. Now, with this, and let's see what kind of version this is. Well, we can't really do it now. But a lot of time, I think we might have to make a repair kit. Okay. But, and let's see how this one works. We're going to need a lot. So here's another thing that you can do with this mod that's weird. Okay. You technically don't need the blueprint paper. Oh, okay. If you take a normal iron pickaxe, put it in your crafting table, you get the silent oh. gear iron pickaxe. <laughs> So you can kind of do that with all of them. So yeah, but know. some of them you have to have the blueprint. I think at least for like the, because like there's a matic. Or oh a yeah, yeah, a matic, a hammer, a saw. Any, yeah, that kind of stuff you definitely do. Yeah. But I'm just saying the normal vanilla tools. All you have to do is a lot of time put them in your crafting table. All right, so there's that. No rewards. They're being stingy. Uh, weapon blueprints. Uh, same kind of concept um and they have a bunch of different ones uh Here, bows and crossbows you can make some okay and then um we have the armor blueprints kind of the same concept now with this you you use the blueprint paper and you put it in so like if you want to make the blueprint for a helmet you have to have five blank blueprint paper and put them in the, the helmet shape oh geez okay but once you have it you have it like we and then there's utility blueprints. Apparently, we can make an elytra with an elytra, but it gives you the blueprint so you can make it out of other stuff. There's rings, there's bracelets, and there's shields. Okay. Um, um, I'm trying to think. Let's see what happens here. Okay. I'm looking for sugar. Like. I'm looking for more sugar cane because it sounds like we're going to need a lot more paper. <laughs> yeah, I mean, once we make a blueprint, like, we're not going to make two of the same one, because we don't need to. Oh, no, but, like, for the, um, for, like, the helmet The armor and stuff, stuff yeah. yeah. And, well, not only that, but if we look at the next quest under the tools, it wants us to make shears, a mattock, a saw, a paxel, an axe, a shovel, a sickle, we already made the pickaxe, and a hammer. Yeah. And that's just that one quest. I went too far. Oh, nope. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> I ran into somebody I didn't want to run into. Like an X? Uh, no, like a hunter illager. Oh, jeez. Okay. I killed him. Yeah, we we Inside. should probably oh. see if we can grab some sugar cane and get. Oh some no, never mind. <laughs> I planted some sugar cane, but I don't know how fast it's gonna be. Yeah, we should probably just look for some more. That's what I'm doing. But, uh, but then also, you know, we're going to need a lot of material like iron and stuff. So so uh, <clears throat> for anybody watching, uh, <clears throat> this is being recorded the day before Thanksgiving. You guys aren't seeing it until about a week later. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're a little bit of a time crunch, um, you know, just getting ready for the holiday and everything mm -hmm. like that. So didn't really get us we didn't really think about the fact that we normally record this on thursdays which is of course thanksgiving so yeah. uh we're recording this a day early so we don't quite have uh, the off-camera work and the materials that we are hoping to have yeah um before we started so that's why we're... all right i went for sugar cane but these guys got a lot of food in their chest so i'm just hey hey take it oh i fell in a hole oh <laughs> A little bit of a lag spike, and I fell in a uh, a ravine here. Oh no! All right. So are you are you stealing from the people who uh, who killed me? Murdered you? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's what that's what they call justice, kids. Exactly. There you go. 
There you I'm go. still looking for sugar cane, though. So yeah, I mean. Heather getting <laughs> vengeance, but in in the form of of delicious treats. Yep, I got meat. <laughs> nice, nice. That's a. That, I think that's an old gang thing. You, you know, you put one of ours <laughs> in a hospital. We're gonna steal all your provisions. I think yep. that was. I think it was the the Crips, maybe the, the maybe Seventeenth <laughs> Street Crips that uh, came up with that. So. All right, I have twelve sugar cane. Very knowledgeable. Two sugar They're like the. Pieces. They're like the Nietzsche of their time. The All who? Right. Um, Nietzsche. What's that? We'll talk about it later. <laughs> I found a desert. <laughs> I'm still kind of stuck in the canyon right next to her house. Like, I don't know how to get out. I'm uh, very I'm... Map and T. Remember how 900 people were telling you to? Oh, God. I, yeah, what's <laughs> uh, Let's go here. All right. There's some... Oh. I Can I just tell him? God damn it! I teleported into the same canyon. All right, let's go a little <laughs> further. Shut up! Just, 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 just. It shut hurts him to laugh. Shut him to. <laughs> Am I allowed oh. to tell everybody about? Uh... Yes. All right, so get this. <laughs> and I'm and I'm gonna I'm explain this, and I want I want everybody as I explain this to take the time and listen. <laughs> to make sure that you guys hear not only the fact that I'm trying not to giggle at this, but also that 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 I have sympathy. Do you? <laughs> well, I'm you know, a lot of you guys. I'm I'm giving a lot of homework to the to the current listener right now of this, but sympathy. Okay. Uh -huh. So as most of you know, roughly. Uh, Don't bring my ahead. age into it. <laughs> it's, it's, an, it's an integral part, honey. I'm sorry. Um, about a month, month and a half ago, uh, Heather and I basically are both in our 40s now. <laughs> and I really like saying it like that. Uh, Heather hit the big 4-0. She's been dreading it. I have. <laughs> really, honestly. This is why. It. This yeah, is exactly together, why. So. <laughs> and it, do you hear the sympathy in my voice? Really? Just just close your eyes and imagine. <laughs> so I've had many incidences where I've uh, hurt my back by sneezing. Mm -hmm. uh, where I've uh, been sore from a nap. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um... You know, where uh, I've had muscle strain because I was hungry. Like, really, <laughs> just... A laughing hurt stop. <laughs> unrelated, unconnected things, right? <laughs> and 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 as best she can, Heather has uh, been sympathetic to my plight. I have. Um, <clears throat> not so much if uh, I'm trying to stretch out my back and I... Lay on the coffee table when I used okay. To I wasn't even apartment. here when that happened. <laughs> and uh, while I'm I'm laying on the coffee table trying to make my back feel better, I I realized because my back hurts, I can't get up. I and, was uh, not around for that ne one though. So neither that's of the not girls fair. were home, and Heather didn't live here at the time, and uh, <clears throat> I got stuck on my coffee table like a turtle. Um, <laughs> and I'll I'll be I'll be dead honest with you. Uh, it did not take very long for me to uh, kind of accept sweet, sweet death. Really, honestly, I was uh, I was ready. I was ready to go into the light, you know. So, but um, anyways, and she's had quite a a hoot and a holler, uh, <laughs> laughter wise from uh, from that incident, and um, so uh, apparently, and we haven't decided, but I will say that either scenario. I want to say is equally as hilarious. <laughs> Heather threw out her armpit. Now listen. Not my armpit, like more like my shoulder, chest it's area. Her armpit. She had a she had an <laughs> armpit. Heather blew out her armpit. So, um, now, obviously, most people. Ooh, really? Ouch! How did that happen? And that is a good question. That's a that is a goddamn that is good a question. Great <laughs> question right there. How Heather pray tell? Did you blow out your pit? I okay. opened the car door. <laughs> it's either she opened the car door. Now, mind you, we're not saying like this was in the middle of a bank heist. You know, we're not saying that that this was a uh, 
you know, she was diving into the car to avoid an explosion. No. She was getting in the car to take one of the kids to school. I was. <laughs> and apparently just got a... It's like a flat tire, but an armpit. A flat pit. A flat... <laughs> yeah. Um, and Or... That wasn't the incident that caused it. That was... It just... That's when she noticed it. Or... It could have happened because she was asleep. Because she slept. I think it was the car. Because honestly, it didn't... It didn't her until then so I I'm can only imagine the warranty on Heather has expired oh and therefore uh all right I found five that's all I found um I found uh, 30 maybe a little oh, more Jesus. okay well let's plan it down near the base like the base of the mountain base the base base all right, we're, we're, down, we're down in the my op where I made the opening. Yeah, and you're, you're right by your nook. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, we're good. Um. Anyway, so yeah, so uh, Heather has been in a. I don't know if I'd say excruciating. It's not excruciating. It's just a dull, achy pain. Yeah. I can move, uh, right? Like I can move yeah. my shoulder and whatnot. It. It's a sore. <laughs> Don't break my armpit. My pinky <laughs> breaky armpit. Hi. Hi. <clears throat> so yeah, that's uh that's the fun we're dealing with. And then for us tomorrow's Thanksgiving, so I uh, you know. I'm assuming she's not making turkey or anything else because of the yes, armpits. I, is... am. I think she I think she did it to herself. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She just was laying there. She's like, oh god. She started punching her armpit with oh all my the force God. she had. I think she slammed the car door in her armpit. No, I feel there's more to this story. I, you know, I'm, I'm not going to say there is, <laughs> but I, I get a feeling that there there's some. Not necessarily that the story's untrue, but there there is some some parts uh, expressly left out. So. Wow. So for everybody out there, and this is more uh, gearing at at the uh, the more uh, mature audience um age not mentality calm down um let us know down in the comments what is the weirdest injury you got from doing the most basic mundane task <laughs> like opening a car door or sneezing or sleeping let us know There's let us know down in the comments I'm, 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 make heather feel better as she uh <laughs> As she's apparently decided to slowly go into her golden years at, at the, hey. the age of 40. So. Anyway, you threw out your armpit for opening a car door. I mean, that sentence alone. <laughs> what are you going to argue? Like, what, 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 do you, what do you got that's going to combat Heather threw out her armpit for opening a car door? And it was a minivan too, and I don't, I don't know why that matters, but I it feel doesn't it does. matter. I think that I, I think that has have to do with it. Thirty-three paper, but we're at the end of the episode already. We are, we are already over. So, <laughs> next episode, we're gonna get some materials, and we're gonna make ourselves, you know, we're gonna make ourselves a whole slew of cool. And then there might be some tools in there we've never used, and we might True. be able to learn that. So, so uh, yeah. Anyways, I uh, want to thank you guys so much. Uh, like, subscribe, click that bell. Um, Heather and I have merch shops that we've had forever, but we never talked about. And we found out that if we talk about it, you guys might actually go look at it and maybe you can get something. Yep. Um, so go check that out. And uh, if you guys want to help support the channel, you guys, you know, the channels, you can do that by becoming a patron, either myself or Heather. It doesn't matter which one you become a patron to. You get all the same goodies. Um, but in those goodies, you get access to this server plus 11 others. You get, uh, you can be in our Discord where we have, you know, monthly movie nights, and you can be in our Saturday and Sunday streams in the call and on the servers with us playing long and uh, all kinds of fun. So go check that out. And lastly, if you want to get your own server, head on over to Host Havoc. Use the link down below. That way they know you're coming from one of our videos. And until next time, on behalf of myself, Heather, and her armpit, we want to thank you guys so much for hanging out. And hopefully, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.